misconceptions regarding covid-19 so during this pandemic there is a lot of questions and whatsapp forwards going on regarding things which is true and some things which are not true so among a lot of questions that we receive here are the answers to 10 most asked misconceptions or questions regarding covid-19 the first one will alcohol intake prevent covid-19 just like how alcohol sanitizer cleans your hands so the answer is alcohol intake and using alcohol sanitizer has different methods intake the alcohol is going directly into your stomach and is absorbed into your body into the blood stream whereas using an alcohol sanitizer on your skin effectively prevents or cleans the virus which is present on the surface and prevents the entry into the body so taking alcohol is not the method to prevent covid-19 and it is not going to kill the virus second question can steam intake cure covid-19 of course steam intake is a good method in releasing the congestion inside your lungs so when you inhale the steam the mucus inside will thin out and helps in coming out so that you will breathe better but it has no role to kill covid-19 virus so it can be used to help in reducing the symptoms but not as a cure the third one there are many over the counter medicines which claim that it will increase your immunity or help in fighting covid-19 so what is the truth about that the answer is till now no evidence based medical treatment is available to cure covid-19 you can only support by giving supplements that will increase your body's ability to fight there is no cure yet so no matter what the ad says there is no proven immunity booster medicine the only way you can increase your body's immunity is by taking good amount of fruits and vegetables which contains natural materials that can fight off the viral infection the fourth question a lot of discussion has been going on saying garlic turmeric etc can help in curing covid-19 so in this part what we need to know they are all natural foods of course they have some antibacterial properties and small amount of these items will help in increasing your immunity but then again this is not the cure or not a proven prevention for covid-19 the fifth one covid-19 is more common among the older population and causing more deaths in the older population so why do the young people have to worry yes it is a matter of fact that more older generation is having chronic and more serious effects because of covid-19 this is because they already have multiple diseases and are already immunocompromised or taking multiple medicines so another attack on the body is just making it all worse but for the younger generation there is no clear guidance that says that they have low risk or they have no risk or they can be prevented so just because you're young that does not mean you will be protected against covid-19 or from its complications so whether you're young or old you should take equal care from preventing from getting infected the next one is will summer weather reduce covid-19 transmission covid-19 transmission from the beginning everybody thought that there would be a big change when summer comes but what we need to know that in a pandemic the person to person transmission is very important and as many people are infected the chance of getting infected is very high whether it's summer or winter of course there will be a small reduction in fomite transmission that is the virus when it comes to the surfaces it can get inactivated due to the extreme heat so transmission from surface to person can theoretically reduce but that does not mean the cases will come down as there is a lot of person to person transmission the seventh one is can non veg items be consumed during these covid-19 times so the answer is you can consume anything you like the only thing is whatever items you are using should be washed and cooked very well so that all the bacteria or germs inside will be washed off during the cooking process 
and another most important thing is once you are handling these items please wash your hands with soap and water before you touch your face or your mouth with the hands the eighth question is will spraying alcohol in open areas reduce the transmission of covid-19 so spraying alcohol of course can reduce virus present in surfaces so that means if you are touching a surface there is less likely chance to get infected from that surface but again as the same as before we have mentioned the person to person transmission cannot be reduced with just spraying alcohol in open areas for this you need to stick to social distancing and hand washing the ninth one is is saline gargle a good preventive method or can it cure covid-19 saline gargle is only used to reduce the irritation of your throat that can only reduce inflammation but not cure covid-19 the virus can itself be inactivated by washing with soap and water but this is not feasible in your throat and it can also be destroyed by extremely high temperature water that also can't be used for gargle so saline gargle in itself can only be used to reduce the irritation or the inflammation of the throat which occurs as a symptom of covid-19 but it is not a prevention or a cure the 10th one is there is a popular whatsapp message which says that if you hold your breath for 10 seconds and can do it for 10 seconds continuous it means you are not infected with covid-19 so this message is actually not true because anybody even with covid-19 can hold their breath for 10 seconds without any issues if their lung is not severely damaged the only 10 second rule can be used to analyze if you are going critical or if you are having hypoxia or reduced oxygen because of severe pneumonia but it in no way can predict that you are actually infected with covid-19 so these are the most popular misconceptions or questions that we receive regarding the confusions about covid-19 we hope that this answers most of your confusions and makes it clear that covid-19 main prevention is only through hand washing and social distancing and there is no cure for this yet